Why does concrete need sand or does concrete need sand? The traditional concrete mix is cement, sand, and gravel mixed together with some water to a placement viscosity suitable for what you're doing. You place it, you finish it, it cures over a 30 day period, and voila, you have concrete. The purpose of the sand in this equation is the fines. It is the, so the cement is a glue. And what are we gluing together? Well, we're going to glue together some aggregates. We have sand, which are the fines, and we have gravel, which is larger and helps to achieve a bulk of yield. But without the sand, without the fines to help glue together, like, it would be really hard if I just gave you glue and I said, okay, glue these together. That's not going to work together very well. And I often give the example of taking tennis balls and just trying to glue them together and make something that's pretty strong out of it you're probably going to fail to achieve to build something that's pretty strong because it's tennis balls and how can you, they barely have any contact surface area between them versus, I don't know, like Rubik's cubes. You know, if you glued all those together, you could make something huge and incredibly strong out of it just because of the way that the surfaces mate together and then they glue together. So it's kind of the same thing, but more so on the microscopic level. That's what the sand is helping us do. It's helping us to create surface area that will be flush and flat and small and fit together without leaving voids and hollow pockets, which is really what we would get if we tried to make concrete without any sand. So I think technically you probably could make concrete without sand by just upping the amount of cement component that you're using to crazy obscene levels that you should never do because it's super not cost effective at all and nobody actually does that because that's what sand does and it's super affordable. It's like in my area I get, I think I pay $30 for a yard of sand which is like a giant truck or a utility trailer overflowing with sand. It's literally thousands of pounds of sand. $30 is what you pay for that. So that's why the sand's in there because it's very cost effective. It doesn't bulk up the yield as much as the gravel, but it does play that important integral component of being small and keying together and having surface areas that mate together more fleshly and fluidly than the gravel component. I hope you found this information helpful. There's a lot of authority with that thumb. That must have meant that I really know what I'm talking about here because I, I didn't even just... I did that. Like and subscribe.